This is a toy that I got at the thrift store. I took it apart. So it's got the battery pack. It's got the speaker. It's got a variety of buttons that used to be connected to the plastic outer case of the toy. And it's got the circuit board, which has all the electronics which make the noise, make the sound effects, and make the voices. And this particular circuit board has only a few components on it. These guys are transistors, and they are being used basically just to light the LEDs. And some capacitors, which are probably just for filtering the power supply. And most of the action is on the back of the board. This little black blob is the integrated circuit that does most of the work. And then on the back of the circuit board are other little, very small surface mount resistors and capacitors that do other things related to what this board does. And those are what we're going to use to try and figure out where the clock is on this board, because if we can speed up or slow down the clock, we can change the way this sounds. And the way we're going to do that is we're just going to take a moistened finger tamp and just poke across those little components with a moistened finger tamp, and that's going to reduce the resistance of these little tiny resistors. And if we find a place on this board that a moistened fingertip changes the sound of the activity, then we'll know we found the clock, and we can replace that with a potentiometer and control the change in pitch. So that's what we're going to do now, section. It's learning time! And now each of these buttons... One, two, three... ...will do something on the original toy. What we're going to hope to do is change the sound by a moistened fingertip across some of these components. So we'll get it playing One, something. Ah, there we go. So, so these little guys up here that's clearly where the clock signal is. So now we